Joining us from United Kingdom to speak a little more about this development is Mr. Nelson Olanik Bakuni. He's a policy analyst. Good to have you. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Yeah. Mr. Nelson, many thanks for joining us from the UK. Um, tell us a little bit about the mood of the people of the United Kingdom. I think generally on the streets, um, it's not reflective of what is happening, but in conversations, when you're able to hold conversations with people, um, friends and families and, and, and people generally, they are really excited. And that was what translated to the post, to, to what you see in the poll. Um, essentially, the landslide is a monumental win. Um, labor over the years has been, power over the years has been in the hand of conservative for 40 years. And uh, but before that, Labour also ran the country for 13 years. So a change in power, it's more or less like a, a change in government for these people, for um, UK residents, for UK citizens. And they are hoping that all the issues affecting the economy, affecting NHS, affecting crime and justice would be resolved by Labour. Okay, so um, part of the reasons why Rishi Sunak lost the election was because of rising cost of living um, in the United Kingdom. Are there any more reasons why Rishi Sunak lost woefully in this last election? Yeah, I, I think that is also a rising um, crime rate in the country. At the moment, there are lots of um, incidents of crime here and there. A couple of days ago, on, on my street, I saw... Um, series of cars boggled and vandalized and you see different um antisocial behaviors on the streets people doing all sorts of that is a major issue that has been a, has been um a sort of concern for people over over years now the other big issue is wait time in the nhs uh, for you to get appointments in the nhs it takes a long time sometimes it takes months so um when you compare it to it, Nigeria, you could get a doctor appointment within a day uh, in Nigeria, but in the UK, it's really, really, it's been crazy. You probably want to uh, wait for a month or thereabouts before you could uh, get a doctor's appointment. So cutting down on the wait time, which has been one of the key promises in the um, Labour Manifesto, is also a big thing for um, UK residents and, and citizens. So I think those issues are topical issues. The rising cost of living is also a major one. Um, there is a significant rise cost of living um, in the UK. I know it's a global thing, but um, the issue is really affecting um, people's livelihood and, and standard of living. Um, you will notice that the cost of living is rising much faster than the wage uh, in the UK. And that has really also increased the crime rates um, and also increased the level of standard of living for, for people in the UK. Oh, okay. Um, I, I do not know whether you have looked at the document as it relates to the Labour Party. What, what do you think is the, the posturing of the new Prime Minister with the African continent, specifically with Nigeria? Um, do you think that specifically there will be some policies that will be changed? Uh, directly affecting Africa and then Nigeria? So it, it's really difficult to say at this moment because of the situation, the, the, the government is a new one. However, some things have really jumped out at me when when I look at the, the manifesto and the documents. One thing is that UK is, position is positioning itself in terms of immigration to supporting countries that they are that they are our citizens emigrate to the UK to support them that they maintain um, peace and security in, in their country. So country facing insecurity, causes countries facing issues, the part of the Labour's manifesto is to support them so that people would not necessarily have to immigrate to um, the UK. And you, you in, in the African continent, you see a lot of that um, insecurity issues here and there and within the African region. And 
um, their foreign policy seems to favor um, peace and security in that right. Um, also, one thing that I think will be of interest is also the larger immigration policy. Um, the, Rwanda, the controversial Rwanda relocation program for asylum seekers and refugees have been put on hold and have been cancelled by the present Labour uh, Party um, um, Union in the uh, Labour Party in the UK, and this is really a big win for people that are trying to seek asylum and refugee status in the UK. So um, cancelling that is a big win for all the people that have moved against that over time. Then also, uh, there would be a, a, the, the increase in the um, appointments and employment of NHS worker would also see that um, there is a potential opportunities for African continents that want to um, explore their career beyond the shores of Africa. But that also be uh, asked the question, what about the death of um, uh, healthcare workers in Africa? Will they be emigrating into the UK and living um, a, a death of health, healthcare workers in, in um, Africa? So those are some of the issues that might also come from um, the recruitment of, of NHS workers globally. But beyond that, I feel like the Labour uh, Party is a new government. Many in the next couple of months, the foreign policy is going to evolve, and we are going to see the direction of the government. However, those the the, for, the following thing is clear that um, they've cancelled the Rwanda relocation program. Um, the NHS um, wait time will be cut by half. There will be a serious clampdown on antisocial behavior, and um, also specifically for African continent, the security posture and support for people that might be experiencing insecurity in Africa is a big one. I feel um, countries in Africa can tap into just to ensure that um, the continent is safer. All right. Mr. Nelson, Olani Pekun, all the way from the United Kingdom, many thanks for your time. We truly appreciate you. I would have loved to continue this conversation because I actually wanted to find out what the similarities would be given that United States elections are underway uh, sometime in November, or whether this is, would any, in any way affect uh, the U.S. elections. Well, because of time, we just have to go. Many thanks for your time. We truly appreciate it. Thank you.